This is episode 81 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, March 7th, 2022. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve share their thoughts with you on four craft beers from North Park. A double dry hop, West Coast IPA, a triple hazy IPA, a Hell's Lager, and we finish with an Imperial Pastry Stout that was done in collaboration with Moxa. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yes, we do. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. And we got uh, a bunch of North Park beers. Wow, that smells amazing. So today we're... uh, I'm going to pour you short, Chris, or Steve, because there's a lot of ABV rocking today, and I don't want you soused. (laughs) So we... Take it off your clothes and run around the backyard and stuff. <laughs> it's funny you mention So, yeah. We, no, it's not, Steve. <laughs> not at all. I have to poke my eyes out to get that out of my mind's eye. So today, guys, we have uh, three beers straight from uh, uh, North Park and another uh, North Park collab with, uh, with Moxa that we'll go through. The first beer up, guys, uh, the good old West, uh, Charlie's favorite style of beer. Uh, Dude, this smells really good. The West so. Coast IPA. I'm going to go a little heavier there. Yeah, obviously. Uh, what do they say here? Uh, there's nothing like the good old West Coast IPA. Double down on the dry hops and uh, and include some of the best mosaic we've ever had the pleasure of working with, and you got yourself a recipe for success. Good beer. We used some pretty nice Simcoe, too. That's because, what well, softened it up. Mosaic and Simcoe make good company. Big blueberry flavor and supporting pine, tangerine, and passion fruit. The aromas are pungent and reminiscent of herb... Uh, Herbaceous ganja, bright orange, and raspberry. Ganja. Ganja. No cacao, though. There you go. What do you think of that, Charlie? It's great. I thought it would be really good. Really good. Super hoppy. It definitely smells that. Smells hoppy, but it doesn't taste bitter at all. Mm. That's really good. That's a great beer. 7%, I think, 7.5. 7.1 is what that comes in at. So that's. uh, It's different on a can, I think. Yeah, double dry hop list IPA. I can't read it. My eyes. Your eyes are blurry. Ooh, Seven just, one. You're right. Just grapefruit tastes coming yeah. out of there. Yeah. That's a phenomenal West Coast IPA. Okay. I feel like I say that a lot about North Park. Yeah, but North Park. The other day, I was there and I took a picture. And I sent it up to um, Mike Davis. I said North Park has six heavy hitter, hazy, and regular IPAs on tap, all above ten percent alcohol by volume. I was like, well, that's crazy. And I tasted several of them, and there is no boozy flavor in any of them. Hmm. So they're super soft and super tasty. So I advise people who are interested in that type of uh, libation is to, you know, boogie on down to North Park, get you some Old West, and get you some Hazies, and gosh, they had some good stuff there. So uh, North Park, we aren't doing that can tonight, but North Park, pure... Um, Harlan and Phantasm wow. all did a collab on a hazy that uh, I got here in the cooler. Is it just all logos? Yeah, it's just <laughs> that's just it. And at the bottom, it's it's uh, it's called uh, Future One Beer. So it's uh, and then each one of those breweries made their own version, same hop, same mm. yeast, and all that stuff, but they kicked up the volume on the alcohol. So. Theirs is like a, I think this one here is, uh, this is Pure's, and it's uh, 6.5%. It's a triple at oh, okay. North Park, right. so it's 10 plus. So crazy, but a lot of fun in there if you want it. So That's really good. What do you think, Chris Calcutt? I think this is a phenomenal beer. It is awesome. I mean, you know me. It's my uh, early front runner. i tell you if I didn't like it. It's my early front runner for favorite beer of the night. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can go that far yet. It's, it's just the beginning of the evening. So I would I would hold your horses there. Cha cha. Steve is obviously happy with it. Yeah. There was a short part where I drank it all. I know, but there's more here. Oh, no, I don't need any more. All right. No, that's you super you tropical. Lose. You had way too much of it coming forward. Mm. Well, it's, I mean, doggone it. These guys just made, I mean, great can art. 
Got the big hop holding two six shooters with the squat arrows in the back. Pretty cool. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I, I thought you might be just talking about it all the whole time frame here, but you're just enjoying it, I think. Sitting back enjoying it, just yeah. waiting on you. <laughs> the uh, do you have any decent beers this week, Charlie? Uh, yes, I did. I uh, I drank uh, copious amounts of uh, this uh, Paisano, mm. the uh, North Park uh, Italian pills, Italian huh? style pills, which is so crisp and so fantastic. Um, I had a couple of hazies that were, you know. Right along the same lines there, North Parkish, but uh, I can't keep naming them all off because we'll be here all night. But that's what I do. What about you, Steve? Um, am I allowed to drink Belgian Beaver beer? Yeah, I don't the see other, why not. The other time I, one time I mentioned a brewery, but not to be mentioned. What did you? And who? Yeah, uh, I don't know what it was, but huh. it's one of the ones that was bought by somebody. You know, oh yeah. yeah. Um, no <laughs> the worries. Beaver was? No worries, West Coast IPA. New new beer from Belching Beaver, I guess. I it's pretty tasty. Yeah, I didn't good. know they were sold. No, I but no, but what at one point I I had a beer, and you guys are like, oh, we don't talk about that brewery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can't remember which one it was. So I was asking. Before, oh, right? it was uh, it was uh, like, um, the one up there that sold that does the the. Uh, Moot June Shine or something or whatever it is, kombucha or something now instead of that. What's the name of that place? Ballast Point? No. Um, it's the where the ski people all loved it. I don't Remember? know. What you're St. Archer. About. Mm. Yeah, it was a St. Archer. St. Archer, that's yeah. what it was. The ski people. Yeah, they have a bunch of, you know. Didn't they, they sold that brewery? Ski right? people that were. A bunch of ski people. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Those what does that mean? Snow <laughs> type. Ski bombs. Yeah, that's What's right. Surfers? Look at Chris is getting all defensive. I don't even know what I that ski? means. <laughs> but the ski bombs. Is that what they were over there? Uh, no, they were just like, what do they call it? Extreme athlete stuff, you know? Okay. The uh, motocross, you know, snowboard extremists, mm. skiers. No, nah, like very that. well. Beach, you know, big wave riders. Picking up what you're laying down. Yeah. So, so the. Uh, I really didn't have a whole lot of beers, uh, but last night I had a uh, um, cooked myself a big old uh, tomahawk uh, for How for dinner, that? and then washed her down with a uh, Let's Lager from Moxa. It was nice. phenomenal. Yeah. It was super good. Any lagers from it was a Nelson Strata oh, uh, Strata yeah. Hop Lager. It was great. That's was their like go-to down right there for their lager, right? The, they haven't changed that up. Um, they do a couple, but that, I mean that's that was phenomenal. They had a can release when I was up there, uh, so I picked up like a a four pack. Uh, it was pretty tasty. Well, we were supposed to get together and have lagers last night. We were, so I had a lager last night. I did too, but um, <laughs> we went to uh, this group of guys that I've been hanging out with for quite a long time. They do a hump day. And they go over to somebody's house, people, you know, probably anywhere from eight to twenty-five people will be there, you know, depending on who's available and everything. And everybody brings a little bit of something to eat, you know, chips and salsa, guacamole, and all that stuff. And then, you know, you bring like meat or chicken or something, and then these guys cook it all up, and everybody eats off of it, you know. So it's kind of a cool setup. I mean, like I said, these guys I've known them for thirty plus years. I think it's. I think it's like 30, 35 or 36 years they've been doing this. It started up on a hill out behind Granite Hills and worked its way down into a couple of houses here and there, you know, when we were in our uh, early 20s. Getting legitimate. Yeah. And then, you know, now it's in these guys, I mean, the guy's backyard up here on the hill behind, uh, up off Tahisa Road is just a monster house. Beautiful home. I mean, the guy's got an incredible home. We're up there eating, grilling, overlooking, you know, the valley, Dehisa Valley. So it's pretty cool. But uh, I, I already told him I was going to do it, and I wasn't sure you're going to be available. So sorry. Next Very time. well. We'll drink tonight. There'll be no next time. <laughs> All right. What, what do you got? What's in the cooker there, Charlie? What's up next. Uh, you want to go this route? Let's go that route. I'm Quite down with that. A few. 
beers here, so I don't want to pour on that. There you go. Oh, oh it's a hazy. What do you got there, Charlie? This is Lupin Collider Batch 2. We had the Nelson Collider, which was uh, really good. Ooh, and this is stepping up. I can smell it. Yeah, so it. this Lupulin Coll uh, Collider is uh, it's batch two. It's a triple dry hopped, hazy triple IPA. They got Citra hops, Nelson, Galaxy hops. 10%. Ooh. Boozy. Is it boozy? No, it doesn't. Doesn't smell boozy. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste boozy because it's a hazy. Mm. Man, I like a hazy. You are a big fan of a hazy, huh? As I finish up this West Coast IPA, which was phenomenal. No, they're both good. Mm. Not as much smell out of the can. It's, yeah. What kind of hop did it say? I thought it said, uh, it says, uh, Citra, Nelson, and Galaxy. That citra is, is, is what I'm smelling, I think. But I don't smell the Nelson because that's a really particular scent i think it's, it's kind of you know maybe pushed down by the citra i don't know tastes good smells good it's got that really fruity taste to it. yeah 10 percent though gosh oh. you taste 10 percent in there yeah, not does, at all. does it taste any boozier than that 7.1 we just had uh, no. doc yeah, it's certainly doesn't there's not a you know not a whole lot of hoppy uh i don't know if they use that 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 uh extracted uh, hop juice or whatever it is, the essential oil or whatever mm. in any of these beers, but... So batch two, does that mean something? So yeah, it's a second it. so they, Yeah, second time they've made yeah. it. Yeah. Um, golly, that's super tasty. I mean, there's yeah. not boozy at all. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of fruit, I think. Uh, you see that a lot in the color with the batches and the numbers and stuff like that. Yeah. Like there's, they're just testing stuff out. That's cool. I could drink this. Um, I don't yeah, know how many I'm going to do before I just fell Probably over. not too many. Probably two. That would be a... Triple dry hop, triple IPA, Citra Galaxy. No. Sleepy evening. Yeah, this one will crap, you know, um, creep up on you. Mm -hmm. For sure, and yeah. This one, you go, oh, I can have another one. And then you're like... <laughs> just a 10%. I try to stay away from like... IPAs that are ten percent, you know, I just am not yeah, a fan of them. Especially something like that that you don't like, that doesn't taste boozy. Well, when I go down there to North Park, I'll get me like a like one of this like this Pilsner here. I'll get a full glass of that, and then I'll just get the smallest, oh, yeah, taster. like a taster of one of these. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, yeah, because the flavor is so rich. I mean, that's a rich beer right there. But wow, that's really good. You, I mean, if you're drinking glass after glass of that, it's just like you're you're going to be plowed before you even get started. Is this one of those ones where they pour in the small glass? Yeah, they're, they're small. Yeah, glasses. I think anything under eight eight ounces, what they do is that eight ounce pour yeah. on anything. They don't ever? even do a ten ounce; they do an mm -hmm. eight ounce pour. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, that's seriously. Yeah, you don't need any more than that. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my humble opinion. I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know too many people that drink for effect anymore. But it was definitely uh, a tasty little bugger. If you were, that would be it. Yeah. 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 If you wanted to go quick. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, you get, you're get you going to get banged up pretty quick, so you might as well slowly mm -hmm. taste it and then drink a nice crispy lager. Hey, shocker. I know. That uh, that's a super tasty mm -hmm. beer. A Good lead in. Flavor. You know, I think a little, little boozy maybe on the end, but nothing too, uh, too crazy. That I was, love, uh, that I was. Love that. It's like, it tastes like orange. There is a lot of like, uh, it's that citrus. Tropical, uh, mm. tropical juices. Yeah, a little tropical flavors coming out of there, huh? Okay, we're gonna do a little uh, palate refresher here. Any news on the news front there, Chris? Lately, beer news. Um, gosh, not that I've, uh, let's see what we, last week we had the closing of a lot of those, um, modern time stores. Yeah, that's, uh, um, for sure that was on, uh, was going on. 
apparently we won't be getting any uh, Ukrainian beer shipped over here at this point, but <laughs> I mean, they're a little busy, I guess, yeah. being pummeled. This it is a really good beer. It's really dark. 5%. Darker, darker than I thought it would be. Golden dark or? Mm. It smells great. Yeah, this is a this is a tasty beverage here. Oh man, I love this lager. Got a little Dungeons and Dragons action. Yeah, sort of a little little. There you go. It's a larp, huh? Yeah. What are they, I don't know what they call those those axes with double sides yeah. on them like that. They don't look all very strong, but I'm yeah. sure they did some damage in their day. Those weak looking ones on this end. The other one looks pretty. Yeah, the one in the middle. Yeah, so they got like shields and axes and swords on there. Mm. Mm. There's definitely been a renaissance on loggers. Oh my gosh. Since we started it. Dude, that is legit. I should go get some like more any... of that. Is, that. is that pretty tasty? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's something <clears throat> I drink all the time right mm. there. Big flavor profile. Let's even get a keg of that. That'd be tasty mm. to have on tap. So this uh, the the final beer is the Larp Lager. Uh, it's it's uh, North lager. Park's Hellas Lager. Um, nothing works up for thirst quite like uh, an intense campaign of defending the realm from the onslaught of the giant spiders and the rock goblins with your foam <laughs> battle axe and buckler. God, That's what they say this yeah. crispy elixir is that Dungeons will surely, and Dragon? Yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. This crispy elixir will surely provide that much needed refreshment a hero like you deserves. The noblest of hops combined with the most triumphant assortment of fine malts rewards your most valiant deeds. You've slayed the dragon. Mm -hmm. Now slay your thirst. Steve's going to go down there and buy a case or yeah. two of this and just play D&D &D <laughs> yeah. all weekend, yeah. man. I know it. <laughs> I've never played that. Oh, man, that is super you tasty. Play. I, I'm just not a big... I, I can't stare at a screen and then push buttons and stuff. So. Well, it's not a button game. We can oh, play it is? On, we can play on this. Wow. Maybe we should do that during a drinking fest. For sure. Dungeons and Dragons with Lager. Yeah, I just started a new game with some guys. That's tasty. Kind of malty. A little roasty, it's maybe. It's great. That is good. That's I mean, gosh. I bought a... Now, I'm going to say this. I can't even... I don't even know what the name of the beer is. Name of the company that makes it. It's uh, ACDC. It's, um, it's got actual ACDC. I guess they made it in mm -hmm. collaboration with right. some other brewery and ACDC, the band. Mm. I'm going to say... Calicraft? Is that who it is? That's what it looks like. Yeah. It's not very good. I, I was going to break it out so that mm. Chris could taste it and tell me that I was right. That it wasn't very good? Yeah, that it wasn't any good. Because uh, I was thinking, says, well, it's a West Coast IPA, you know? Um, and I was like, eh, you know, I'm going to get this. If I'll drink it, and if I think it's good, I'll give him one, and I'll give you one. You know, and then mm -hmm. there's one left over. Yeah. So, Yeah, it says, uh, yeah. drink the beer, save the can. Maybe just save the can with the beer in it. Yeah, well, or just no. Cali Craft and then Knuckle. Which one of those was it? It's They're, both of them. They're, no, it's the red can. The red can. So yeah. it looks like that's Cali Craft. They brand. haven't got the other one hasn't released yet, I suppose. Oh, is that the... Yeah. It said they were releasing last summer. Maybe oh. that's why it's no good. Yeah. It's coming up on a year old. Wow. Maybe that, maybe it was me. and mm. No, yeah. I didn't know that. So The Deftones in LT Beaver's beer is pretty good. Uh, yeah. The, there's been a handful of breweries yeah. that have uh, released beers. Yeah, like I think, Sublime I think, uh, does a beer with Stone uh, has a beer too, but with that other, the you know that Stone blew out the um, arrogant bastard is like sold through a different like named company. Oh, is it? Yeah, and so I think they've been teaming with some people too. Hmm. I don't know how, why, or why that happened. But, oh, bastards lager. Yeah. But I just want to know who's who's drinking arrogant bastard anymore. That's that's a question. Yeah, I usually have one once a year. Really, a Christmas party. Oh my. <laughs> oh, so like, uh, yeah, bastards. So you're the lager. guy. Let's see. <laughs> oh no, that bastards lager. That's like uh, Motorhead. Yeah, Motorhead's beer. Kiss. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, ACDC beer. Now the can is super cool. Yeah, Guar. I mean. Yeah. I'd have rather had that other one with uh, Angus on the front cover. Yeah. But uh, they both look pretty cool. I just bought it thinking, hey, it might be a pretty good West Coast. Is it West Coast, right? 
Uh, it just says IPA. No, Double IPA. Just a regular IPA, then. Oh, this is a great blogger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did not come to watch for that one. No, not like I said, I had one of those... The other day when I was down there, and I went down there again with my neighbor. So we went to North Park, bought a couple of beers there, and then rolled over to um, the Friendly. Got a Friendly burger. If you hadn't had a Friendly burger, you should try it. Juicy, drippy, greasy, tasty burger. And then we took the burgers into fall and sat there and ate the burgers and drank fall beer. Mm. It's wonderful. I had a lager there, too. It was good. So that's how I rocked. But, uh, yeah, it's... I could uh, I could honestly... I'm, I'm contemplating going down there tomorrow and buying some more, so... Of that lager. Of oh, that, uh, that lager? Yeah. Well, they're both good. The Pilsner's good, too. And that Paisano. Paisano. What's Paisano mean? Friend. Is that what it means? Yeah. Paisano's. Friends, that's what the S at the end stands. That's for. yeah, no, that's a great, uh, that's a great lager. Um, I'd still have to say out of those first three, I'm, I'm going that West Coast IPA. Uh-oh. Really favorite. Uh oh. Now we got to step into reality here and see if he really, really, really mm. believes what he's saying there with uh, his comments on. <laughs> The West Coast IPA, because now we're going to crack into something else that... Ooh, a little, little something else. What else you got up your sleeve, Charlie? We got a little Velvet Nugget. This is a bourbon barrel-aged Imperial Stout, rocking in at 17.9 AP, ABV. Is that a new record? I Ooh. think that is. I think that's the highest thing we've had on the show, for sure. So, gentlemen... Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see Drop about this. Drop your linen and stop your grinning. <laughs> so this Velvet Nougat, uh, it's an imperial stout aged in Blanton barrels for 24 months. Conditioned Ooh. on toasted almonds, uh, Black cacao oil, nibs, Texas and uh, Veracruz tea. vanilla. Veracruz. Veracruz vanilla. Cho ho ho Smell a lot of Steve's barrel. Steve's getting a little whiskey. A little barrel on it. You going to put that over there? Let me just hit get a little. Oh, look at you, oh, yum yum. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Just jump the jump yeah. the line you gotta there. Got to get some before you do there, Charlie. Yeah. I know how that goes. There won't I'm be always... any left. Usually you're all slow and everything. <laughs> exactly. Not today. He's, <laughs> he's He didn't come here to wait either. Look at that. Man, that is a delicious looking looks beverage. Looks like oil. It's a, it does you smell a little barrel on the on Yeah, the, the a lot of barrel. Is it boozy? It's really not. Really? You taste the almonds in there. <gasps> you taste the almonds along with that uh, that chocolate. It's the certainly doesn't drink like it's eighteen percent. Which I guess it's not seventeen point nine, you know. I feel I, I was gonna say it. It drinks a lot closer to like 17.8 than it does yeah. 18. <laughs> right on the number there, bro. <laughs> no, no. I certainly wouldn't. The like if calculator. I just drank that. <laughs> if, if I drank that, I wouldn't say that's closer. You know, that's <laughs> that's closer to 20% than than uh, 12%. Uh, so, Actually, I'll, yeah. that's I, it's. It's not super boozy. It's a no, it's tasty beer. It's not boozy. It's, I'm just getting a lot of molasses more than I get an almond. It's not joyous almonds, that's for sure. Mm, no coconut in there. A little? No, there's none in here. Mm. Maybe, you know what? Coconut. Maybe. maybe it's a little too cold for me. I think that's phenomenal. I like mine to heat super up Super chocolatey. I don't think it's uh You can definitely taste that chocolate. Yeah, I can taste the chocolate. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. It's just we have no expectation of what's in here. What what did it say? So originally the uh, uh, the base beer uh, they they brewed um, velvet nougat uh, or Clabbero mines. Um, it says the uh, favorite chocolate and crystal malts uh, set upon a base of malted oats and Maris otter. And then we boiled the holy heck out of resulting in uh, 
a glorious viscosity. It is. Um, most of this batch was racked in the top shelf bourbon barrels, which is what we're drinking today. Great looking uh, bottle art there. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a big fan of like uh, the way that uh, North Park does their bottle releases. You know, they, they've done a couple of them where you got to line up out front, and uh, that's just kind of a mess. It right? Especially like you're down there <laughs> down in, in, in North Park, and it's just um, it's not conducive to waiting six hours for a beer or four hours for no. a beer or whatever. Now they just do that, uh, that o, what is it, OZNR app or whatever. You can, you know, remotely get in this uh, this lottery. It automatically charges you if you win, so there's no, like, you know, once Guessing you sign up game. for the lottery, you put in your, your credit card number. So if you win, you win. Yeah. You know, they don't they don't get left over. You know, there's yeah. not cases of beer that somebody doesn't decide to pick up and pay for. You know? That's it's great. paid for at least. It's paid for, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because um, I think I slept on a bottle down there that I bought that I never picked up. It was years ago. I mean, when they first opened. I did that at uh, um, Bottle Logic. I remember thinking, like, I was like, dang, I have to pick up, like... Sixty dollars in beer. It's going to cost me eighty dollars to drive up there and get the beer. Like, yeah, that's not a good. I'm like, thing. I'm not uh, I'm not gonna go. Or you know, whatever. It's gonna. It's we made a lot, lot of trips up there too. I remember that. We made a few of them. Yeah, it's just I was like, wow, why do we keep coming back here? <laughs> Where are they at? Like, they're in Anaheim. Anaheim. Right, but I, I was like, that's yeah, gonna be like a, it's like a tank of gas in the Jeep. Mm-hmm. Now it's like it costs three times as much as the beer. Right. Yeah, yeah. I guess it probably wouldn't have cost me eighty dollars in gas then, but it certainly would today. I think we made a couple of trips up there in the uh, Hyundai, or no, what is it? The Prius. Sorry, same thing. Prius. I did actually take the Prius up there a few times. Because mm. I could get up there. It was either take my vehicle and use a tank of gas or take the Prius and use 83 cents in gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gallon and a half. What do you think, Steve? I like it. You like it a lot? Or is, no, it's, not on your, it's not on your top five? No. Wow. It's a good, it's a good stout. I mean, but we've had better. I would agree. We've had better. It's super chocolatey. I think the nuts kind of come through in the end there. Um, I think it's it needs great. to warm up. That's, that's what little, I'm you know, little, little. Uh, you know, it smells boozier than it comes across. Like I, I really I think there's just a kiss of that Blanton. There's a kiss of that that barrel on there. What barrels was it again? Blanton. Blanton. Wine. Is a wine barrel? Uh, b- uh bourbon. Mm. Oh, I haven't heard of that brand. It's got the little horse on top of it. It's like the round mm. bottle. Of course, nobody it's drinks. Difficult it. to get a hold of. Really? Is it? Uh, I'm sure if it wasn't, or if it if it was popular, they wouldn't be using it. It's yeah. like this little. Uh, oh no, I've never had that. Um. Yeah, it's uh, like I the could, rook. Never... Isn't it a rook, or is it a real horse? Like a horse, isn't it? Mm. I thought it was a rook. You know, like on a chess chessboard. I don't know. It looks like a horse to me. Horse running. Looks like a real horse with a guy on it. Yeah, you know. with a guy on. it? Yeah. Holy crap. Never seen that before. Then again, I don't do a lot of... Not a big bourbon guy? Bourbon drinking. Mm. It's not my go-to. I, I just that found lager over there is, but... Just found Woodford and it's sticking to it. Yeah? You like Woodford? Yeah. Not a bad deal. Ooh, man. So, hey, uh, Charlie, what was your favorite beer today? Mm. I'm going to go with the LARP. With the LARP lager. Sorry. That West Coast was good, it was. but the LARP was better. Mm-hmm. For me. How about you, Steve? Uh, I'm going to follow Charlie. The LARP I could drink forever. <laughs> <on the desert. laughs> Chris, Chris is rolling his eyes. <laughs> well, so I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll provide a little bit of legitimacy. <laughs> <laughs> That's you fantastic. Something's going on you, with your guys' palates. <laughs> you people that don't <laughs> know anything. <laughs> that, that, uh, those beers were good. Yeah, right? they were good. But that yeah. that the good old West. The Westie was good. That was a good old West Coast. It's probably one of the best West Coast I've ever yeah. tasted. It, it, it is really beer. good. I just the lager was good too. Uh, was I just good. I don't know. I really liked the lager. That was good. They it really, they really like knocked it. it out of the park. Like like this could be in the top ten, top five best lagers. We've ever yeah, had. it's pretty good. I mean, it, you know what? I think you've been you've you were a little buttered up by the uh, can art. 
Yeah. Too. Yeah, so that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that might be part of it. I'm ready. So. I'm ready to roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Well, until next week, guys. Cheers. 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 We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. The Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the podcast podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. <laughs>